everyone it's infinitely zero Ness's channel I wanted to do a quick video today I wanted to talk about the Mary Maxim quarterly crochet Afghan club so it comes every quarter which is every three months and this is the second one that I've gotten because I just signed up uh, last quarter so and that arrived around April I think they usually either arrive arrive around March or April it depends when you sign up for it um, it's cheaper the first time your first um, kit that comes in and then it's a little more expensive so this one came out to um, $32.99 which is the usual price for the kit and then it's four dollars and ninety nine cents shipping and handling I'm here in the US so then that comes out to a total of $37.98. And you can sign up for that on Mary Maxim's website. You don't pick the kit. They pick the kit. So it's kind of like a mystery crochet Afghan club um, membership sort of thing. You can also, they also have um, Afghan kits that are knit as well. So you can sign up for that. And they have different ones like a craft one or a puzzle club membership or like a smaller projects um, crochet, you know, Mary Maxim crochet um, monthly. Those are monthly um, club kits. So if anybody signed up for the monthly crochet uh, kit, I don't know if they have one for like charity projects or not, but if anybody signed up for some of the other Mary Maxim kits or even this one, let me know in the comments below how you like it. So yeah, so I wanted to talk about this and then I also wanted to quickly mention that I had heard some folks and see some, I had seen some posts too where people had found yarn at Big Lots and so I wanted to say what my experience was with that. But first I wanted to go over with the kit. So yeah, so this is the whole kit. Uh, it came, it actually arrived today. So this is like fresh out of the mail. I've been waiting. I thought it was going to arrive yesterday. And then it said it billed me August 10th, so I've been I've been checking my email back and forth. So it came with four large skeins each. Um, they're unlabeled, and they say they're a pound, which is 16 ounces. And it comes with a pattern, and it comes in this um, bag, the zippered clear bag, which are great for projects. I love these. Uh, this is what the yarn looks like. It's like a taupe color. I'm not going to, and again, you don't pick the you don't pick the kit and you don't pick the yarn. Um, it feels kind of nice. It's not like super soft, but it's not like super rough. It's 100% acrylic. It feels a little softer. I had opened a little hole in here to feel the yarn, and now I can't find the hole. Almost. Oh, it was the other bag. Uh, it feels softer than the Mary Maxim Value yarn which comes in an 8 ounce skein if you've ever used that. This color is kind of close to their light brown color. It's not an exact match because I have that there. This is what the, the pattern looks like. Sorry that it's inverted. It's called the Heirloom Lapgan. And it's 41 inches by... 53.5 inches. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little better. Yeah, there we go. And the, um, it says it's a intermediate type pattern. And then up here you can see that it'll have the year, which is 2024 with 06 be in June. And then that it's a crochet. Um, and then the pattern is in here. And here within the pattern, they show a close-up picture of the blanket and the border. So that's really nice that they did that. Um, so yeah, so that's everything that comes with it. Like I said, it was for, for these big unlabeled skeins. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. Um, and they said they're about a pound each. So very similar, you know, to like a pound of love. It's a little thicker, so it's definitely a good, good size worsted, worsted weight category four weight yarn. Um, so yeah, so that's everything with the kit. So I went to the big lots to check it out to see if the one close to me had yarn or not. 
it turns out that they're closing that store and then they told me they were closing another store so that's two locations they were closing so um, I drove to the location where the guy said that they weren't closing and they did have some yarn but they barely had any yarn um, they pretty much they had this which are the Ogos which are the blanket burnout blanket Ogos and they had the Karen Jumbo from Yarnspirations the variegated one, only this colorway, and they had some patones, I think, which was linen, which I did not buy. Um, I never tried it out. Uh, each of these were $3.99 each. Um, I know the colors look kind of annoying, but I think if I decide to make another amigurumi and maybe make a duck or something or make something with a bill, I think it'll be really handy to have these yellows. Or like a duck or a little chick uh, so these are these are all the specs there again I'm sorry that everything's inverted I'll try to invert the video so that everything when you read it looks okay and they're 10.5 ounces 300 grams 220 yards or 201 meters made in China machine washable and dryable and it's classified as a super bulky six a weight yarn and they recommend uh, eight millimeter us 11 knitting needles or an eight millimeter us l11 crochet hook and for this yarn the colorway is called bouquet and it's a category four weight yarn 100 percent acrylic that's what it looks like it's uh pinks and purples with a gray which is like a gray that's close to purple which is hard to tell between the purple and the gray uh, and there's a knot right there that's part of the reason I don't really love these Karen jumbos I prefer their Karen jumbo ombre <laughs> anyways so yeah so it's a medium weight four they recommend uh, five millimeter US size eight knitting needles or five millimeter H8 crochet hook, machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic, 12 ounces, 340 grams, 595 yards, or 544 meters. Again, that's what it looks like. They have a cool pattern on the label. And this is what the info looks like for the yarn. And they also had some really cool tote bags. Um, which were marked at, ooh, apparently they wrinkle, which were marked at $2.99. So I got this awesome one of Grogu. He's like adorable. And I've kind of run out of space in my clear plastic totes bins where I put yarn in. So sometimes, so I've been recently putting in, putting them, putting in my yarn that I've recently purchased in some of these larger tote sizes. And they're also great if you're going to give a gift. Um, I've done that before. I mean, I didn't use Grogu. I used like something that was just fancier looking uh, for like a wedding present where I made the blanket and then I put the blanket in a reusable bag. So, you know, they can continue to reuse the bag for other stuff. So they had this cool villain one, which was Cruella, which says cooking up trouble. Uh, these were $2.99 each, but since the store was closed, going out of you know, this closing that store, I think there was like a 10% discount, 10, 20 or 30% discount. I can't remember right now. So, um, they had a cool nightmare before Christmas tote and these are pretty big size. I don't think it has the size listed on these. Oh yeah, it does. They're 19.5 inches by 17.5 inches by 7.25 inches. Um, because it has this whole bottom part here that extends a little bit. And then they had a cool Lilo and Stitch. He's like totally Halloween trick-or-treat. So I love that they had the Halloween bag. So I tried to buy a few. And of course, the guy at the cash register looked at me like I was nuts. And I'm like, you don't understand. And then as I was leaving the store, I saw that they had Nightmare Before Christmas shirts. So I, <laughs> I turned back around. I grabbed as many shirts as I could and some cute Halloween shirts, and I had grabbed Halloween earrings, so yeah. So, okay folks, that's everything I wanted to show because, um, yeah, keeping this nice and short and sweet. 
If you like my content, please click like and subscribe. I have not started the last Afghan quarter, you know, the last Afghan kit that I got from the Mary Maxim Quarterly Afghan Kit Club. I have not started it yet, even though it's really pretty. But I am excited to work on both of those and start them hopefully soon. Um, thank you for all my new subscribers for showing up and thank you for those that have been around a while and keep watching. And what else did I have to say? I have a bunch of yarn that I ordered because I couldn't really control myself and there's been so many really good deals. So I have a lot more videos that are coming that are yarn unboxings. I've been trying to make other content uh, to put in between, but I haven't had a chance to make those recordings. Again, I'm going to do a bunch of recordings today if I can. Um, so you'll see me wearing the same stuff. And also, currently, I'm dealing with my doggy being a little sick, and I'm still really tired from my trip and trying to catch up with everything. So yeah, so I have a few Stanley orders that I'm, that I'm going to make videos for and do unboxings for as well as a Mary Maxim order that I got in. I have another Ma Mary Maxim order on the way. I have a video for Hirschner's unboxing, yarn unboxing, that's coming out tomorrow or Sunday. Depends when I release this video. And there's also a Lion Brand order that's coming from the clearance sale that was 70% off. I did not order from premiere when they had their big sales so I was able to um, restrain myself from that and the I can't remember what else oh I just ordered last night from your inspirations that's coming with a Joann's order so I'm excited that there's some new yarns to me that are coming in so I'm looking forward to showing some of that and in one of my next videos, I'll be showing my works in progress and my little gingerbread man that I made and finished, which was a pattern that I was testing. Okay, folks. Bye. Thanks. Have a great day or night. Take care.